Hi, it's Brady Splay from thirdstream.com. Today we're talking about exercise called the front foot elevated front rack split squat from pins. That's a freaking mouthful. But this exercise is freaking awesome. So this is a build on our standard uh, front rack split squat with just a regular barbell. We're doing it from pins and we're going to use some front foot elevation. Now the front foot elevation is great. It can help with our athletes in terms of shifting them up and back. So if there's somebody that's really far forward, they're really stuck in the interior, uh, pelvic tilt, they're kind of like this, by getting them in a, not only a single leg stance, one, I think that we find athletes that are like that perform a lot better, especially if they've got low back history, um, they just do a lot better with single leg exercises, but also having that front foot elevated, we're going to push their center of gravity back a little bit, um, and we're going to help restore some range of motion while also getting brutally strong. Um, this also helps increase the range of motion as well, so that's the second reason you use it, you can get more time and retention, and this can be a progression from your standard front rack split squat uh, from the pins. So if you've watched that video, you probably got a good idea what's going on here, but if not, I'm gonna fill you in. So you're gonna need a power rack, you're gonna need some pins and the barbell on the rack, and then you are gonna need something for your foot to stand on. Uh, these DC blocks are great, they're about the perfect height. Uh, they don't really have an issue with your foot like sliding around on them. Um, you can get your whole foot on there. I don't think you're going to have any problems finding somebody with a shoe too big to fit on one of these. Um, if you do, you just turn it this way. Um, but that's all you're going to need for this particular exercise. And then we would just put weight on each side. So I'm going to start with my left leg here. Um, and then once we get down, I'm going to get in the lunge position. And then when it comes to the front rack aspect of it, I just like to get here, roll the barbell towards me. And then for this particular exercise, I do like the cross. I think it feels better. It's more comfortable. Getting in a good quality front rack here can be a pain in the butt. Um, and we're really just trying to after the front leg strength here. Um, if you're worried about clean position and front squat position, things like that, I, mean, I do think that's optimal, but I understand Exercise like this, crossing just feels better. It's easier to get set up. Um, but if you are trying to work on that stuff, then you might try to find a different exercise uh, rather than this one. So we come here up to your shoulders. Then we're going to take our hands. We're going to cross. I like to take my fingers around the barbell here. Make sure it stays good and steady. As long as I'm in good position here, um, this should be relatively easy for me to get going. Now I'm going to push through my front leg, make sure I feel my heel, my toes, whole foot contact. My knee's going to come off the ground just slightly because I got the setup about perfect for me. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead this up into the bar, push through my front leg, and make sure I'm coming up good and strong. And now we just switch legs. So, you know, not too complicated. Um, there's a little bit of pieces set up, and you definitely got to be strong for this exercise. So make sure your athletes can do split squats, lunges, uh, Bulgarian split squats, just a variety of single leg work that gets them relatively strong rather than just throwing them at this exercise. Now, I will say that this is a strength exercise. Do not perform this for 10 reps per side. I think your athletes are going to hate you. You're going to hate yourself if you try it. Um, use this for single leg strength. So three to five sets of probably three to five reps per leg. Um, this is great for in-season or out-of-season training. I think in-season it's great because we have the pins and we don't have to worry about necessarily all the muscle soreness that's going to come along with doing all the heavy eccentric work uh, in a standard lunge or split squat. Um, but also the nice thing is we can get that, that starting strength coming off the pins and then the safety piece of it's huge because we are in the rack. I don't have to worry about missing if I'm going to roll off or whatever. I'm not going to get injured either. So there's a lot of benefits from this exercise and honestly you can probably get a lot of group athletes into something like this as well um, just because if everybody's a lot of the similar height uh, then you can roll around with it and not have to worry about moving these up and down because this will stay the same. The height that they stand will adjust based on how tall they are. So um, that is the front foot elevated, front rack split squat. Lots going on, lots of great benefits from this exercise. If you happen to have a question about something, please feel free to leave them in the comment section. Thanks, have a great day.